Are they already in a ball? Yep, right there. Oh yeah, wow, that's a big one. Hey guys, it's Rob and Lori from Larabi's. Change of plans today, we come down to do our first spring inspection of the year and we found a swarm. So we're gonna take action on that and then dive into some bees. We came down today to the bees to clean out and spring clean, but instead we found the swarm because they need more room. So when they flurry like this all in the sky, that's them starting to swarm and then we watch them and this is where they ended up landing. They decided to get in the middle of a blackberry thorn bush. So we had to cut some of the bush around. Rob and I have been talking about it and we believe the best option is just take out a few frames out of our box and kind of shake the box. The beauty of a swarm is that when you get the queen in the box, all the other bees will march into the box and follow her. So the idea is don't hurt the queen and get the queen in the box. So we've got some, some drog comb in there. We're gonna hope that uh, we can catch the queen pretty quick and uh, make this pretty effortless. This is just us removing the frames out of the, so that we can do the drop. You wanna make sure you got some drog comb in there, Mom? Yeah, I have, I have some in there, baby. So don't. Okay, you just want me to do a fall, quick shake, ready? You got it, yep, there you go. Yep, you're good. And while she's doing this, I'm looking for the queen. See what we got. Hold on. There you go. All right, watch that. I am. There are a lot landed That's right okay. here, That's so okay. we've got to watch. It's all right. So what we want to do, I'm going to put some, one of these across it like a lid to stop them from flying. See if we can get her pheromone in there. And if they start marching in the box, she's in the box. But if they ball back up up here, or if they ball down there, then we missed. So, I'm going to look for the queen. See, it's on a, on They're a climbing point. off the branch now into the box. Look. Are they? Oh, I see them walking. See them? All of them are kind of gradually going this way. So you can see the, the bulk of them are starting to move up towards the box. So that kind of solidifies to me that the queen's in our box here, that we made it in compared to down here on the ground in a ball. Now we'll give them a few minutes to kind of dial down and settle in. Uh, I may put a frame of uh, brood in here from a different colony to kind of entice them to stay. Um, but I feel really good that the queen's not on the ground there. She could still be in this mess over here, um, but time will tell there. What? All the bees are holding hands. Oh yeah, peek, peek down in the top of this. See how they're all holding, they're so all holding see, hands. I, I moved the frame and they're making bee chains so that they can go from frame to frame all through here. See, it's, it's like a, a frame of bees, little chain. They like hold, bees. they're like holding hands, more or less. Yep, and they use that to walk left and right because I moved it. Here, I'll show you how to do it. So if you take a frame, and when you load these in, you take and wiggle it around just a little bit, not forcefully, but if you move it just enough to touch the bee, they'll, they'll kind of stroll out of your way. Lids on it and we're done. So the, the bees that are flying around, the, the little residual, um, they may land there. What we'll do is we'll leave the box till we're done the rest of our inspections over here. Uh, they'll find their way in once they settle down that, now that we've got the extra frames in the box. And uh, then we'll take them, put them on the rack. We may face them a different way for orientation and stuff. Uh, and then we've but got we another we got colony down to the bee yard. But we know we got the queen because all the bees are in the box. Yep. Okay, we'll just leave them there. Yep. I'm actually gonna stick it a little further in just so they can find it. So we'll let it sit like that. We'll come check in a little bit, but we know we got her. All right guys, so we're back over here at the swarm uh, after our inspection. So 
Uh, I went ahead, I added a frame of capped and uncapped brood into the box just to try and solidify our, our bets of them staying in the box. Uh, it's something I haven't tried before, but in theory, I think it'll work pretty well. Uh, as you can see, our big ball of bees from our swarm have made it down into our box. Uh, they've all marched from the ground and from the top in. So it's been about two hours or so, something like that. Uh, sun's starting to come down a little bit. There's a few that are flying around, the little stragglers. Uh, we're pretty close to the bee boxes, so I'm not too worried about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it on a different part of the rack, reorient it a little bit so they don't all go back to where they were. Um, I feel pretty confident moving them soon because I added that extra frame in there. Uh, so my theory is that they're not going to leave the eggs, larvae, and brood that's in there. Um, and yeah, so that, that'll really work pretty well. Uh, so I guess I'm going to uh, just get to it. I'm gonna stop running my mouth and carry them one over there. So you'll see we got the bees on the front door. Talk about a bad day if that would have disappeared in a swarm. It's never good when your bees try and leave home. All right, so I, uh, I just stuck it here. I'm actually going to add another um, box to it. I've got some drone comb and stuff, so uh, I think that'll work pretty well. I'm gonna feed them after a while. So we'll see what we got here. Because th that was a pretty good size swarm. <coughs> swarm, I don't want them to run out of space again. All right. And that will be a wonderful producer this year for us. Uh, I really think that we're gonna have a pretty good honey year out of this yard. We're up to date on all of our broa treatments. I'll go ahead and let this queen settle for another uh, probably week or so, let her start getting to a point where she's laying uh, by a little bit. Maybe I'll give her two weeks. Before things start get ca getting capped too much, I'll give them a treatment of OA just to make sure that they're, they're really top notch and situated for the start of the year and uh, they'll be ready to rock and roll. So that's it. Swarms have been moved over and uh, we're off to the next adventure.